I know this is the question everyone has been wanting to know, like what is going on? What is the situation? We're just gonna see if this can be the answer to all of our prayers. Well, is there even a small chance? No. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me. <laughs> I'm finally back for the first time in, I don't even know how long. I think the last time I was here in Cincinnati was September, which is crazy. And I am finally don't reunited. Don't film that, dummy. What? Like, that's like, like a, that's like a B-roll. Oh, wow, he knows the terms. Okay, yeah, I mean, I did want to show you guys. Look how beautiful the view is. I kind of missed the shot, I guess, a little bit. I'm finally reunited with Neil. I took off from work today. Zach does have to work today, so he's going to be coming up to Cincinnati later tonight. It's so weird to be back. And another exciting thing is I'm going to be seeing Neil's house for the first time. How have you enjoyed it? Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, pretty good. Has Cincinnati really lost its luster ever since I moved out? Uh, it's all right. All right, I've made it to Neil's. I am about to do my makeup so that when Zach sees me tonight, he's not like, what the heck, who am I engaged to? Because we have not seen each other in a month. This is the longest it has been. We've probably gone maybe like, I don't know, a week and a half, two weeks without seeing each other, like never this long, so I'm so excited. But this is Neil's place. This is his bathroom. Neil's bedroom. This is the one that I'm going to be staying in along with Zach. This one's a, a little work in progress. And over here, We've got the living room, a live performance with Mr. Timmy, who, by the way, I'm definitely allergic. I just took Claritin. <laughs> I feel it. I feel it in my soul. It's the cat, I think. And then this is the kitchen. I really like how it's like open. I cannot stand dark kitchens. And then the backyard is super nice. Like probably the best part of the whole house. And then the basement. I mean, it's really, it's just, you know, a classic basement. Arthur has been trying desperately to get in the guest bedroom, which is the one room he's not allowed in. Spin around, okay, you play that. Play that, go. Play that. Play that. Play that. <laughs> oh, that's a good boy. Back at one of my favorite spots ever, Piata. This is obviously a close favorite. Fusion. I mean, honestly, I like Fusion more, but Neil is in charge. Yeah, should, that's like a chain. You shouldn't, you shouldn't like announce that. Like, this is my favorite <laughs> spot. It's some <laughs> chain, basically. But I'm, that's so me, though. I always get the same thing every time. Of course, this is just the power bowl with chicken, and it is everything. And for a better view, this is what it all looks like mixed together. We have all of these home movies that my mom, for some weird reason, gave my brother. I have no idea how you ended up with our most prized possessions. But this right here, this little clip, is going to show you why, I don't even know why I am the way I am. Like, it's just, I didn't deserve this. Neil. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because the best part about watching home videos isn't watching me or Neil. For example, I'm about to show you guys a very cringy video of me dancing. I think I was like in fourth grade. Listen to what my dad says when I'm done. You look, you look like someone that should be shot to put your your misery. And like to me, like that was just normal. Yet I was, I'm just gonna say like, I was never, I never had like a crude sense of humor from that. My dad obviously, well, I don't know if it's obvious, but he cursed a lot. I didn't curse at all. Like he always just told me, I can curse, you can't. And that's all I needed to know. Hey, that's what I said. Oh, brothers, no, no, no. Not the brothers, it's mom's day today. I'm 10, by the way, and Clancy Burke, Clancy and Burke, and well, what happened was I went to school. It's a Monday, so I was pretty sleepy when I woke up, pretty disappointed that I had to go to school, and well, so I got dressed for school, and I went there, and first period, I had <laughs> Ellie in reading, and what we did was we worked on 
our calendars, our grizzly bear calendars. We'd make facts about them. And I have a vocabulary test, and that's why I got this plate for that. And then next year, we had math, which is my absolute favorite subject in fifth grade. And, well, what we did there was we learned area. Yesterday, we learned, well, Friday, we learned perimeter. And so area is really fun. But sometimes I get kind of confused. My brother didn't get the best test grade ever. Nope, 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 sorry. Got a 15 out of 100. I mean, seriously. But I feel bad for him because my dad's yelling. Well, um, I'm getting, I got a four on my math test and everything right. Getting my science test back soon. Maybe like tomorrow, maybe the next day. But on another note, Zach is on his way. I am so excited. Like, oh my gosh, it feels like when we first started dating, we used to, obviously, when I lived in Dayton, he lived in Cincinnati, we'd only see each other on the weekends. And going from Sunday all the way until Friday, like it felt like an eternity. I'd be counting down these seconds until I could see him again. And I'm just, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for him to get here. Timmy, are you so excited for Zach to get here? Ah! Guys, he's here. He's here. He's here. I see him. Neil, are you so excited? You haven't seen Zach. Actually, oh my god, you've seen Zach and I haven't. Oh, yeah, I've seen him recently. Wow. Oh my gosh, there he is. He's getting out of the car. <laughs> yeah, your pillow. <laughs> Hello. I'm... Oh, the phone needs to see. We're back and better than ever. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I am parked outside the gym. I returned to Burn Boot Camp for the first time. I mean, obviously, you guys know I go to other Burn Boot Camp locations, but my location, my Cincy location, for the first time since, what, August, maybe? Which, I'm not gonna lie, it was a pretty bad experience. There were so many people in that class. I didn't get a chance to, like, even show how many people. Like, I was trying to count as I was doing the workouts. There might have been more than 40 people, and that's just that's just too many for that small place. Like I was constantly felt like I was gonna like touch someone by accident or run into someone. Everyone was giving out high five like every second high fives. That's just like a burn boot camp thing that I don't really like. But yeah, like that was awful. And Saturday camps are probably more crowded than others because there's only three time slots on Saturdays in the mornings, but still that was just like not it. Also, I had to do a quick, where is it? It's in my pocket eye drop thing before camp this morning because you guys know I got these, what are these, the Lumify eye drops. However, for whitening eye drops, you're supposed to use them very sparingly, like really only on special occasions. Oh, I had to, oh my God, yeah, my eyes look so white. I had to do an emergency eye drop thing this morning because insert picture here, my eyes were so red. Neil has his cat and his dog and I'm just so allergic. I think it's the cat, but there's dog hair everywhere. It's I love being with Neil, obviously, and I'm I'm taking one for the team. You know, this goes to show how much I love hanging out with Neil because I'm just, I'm not well when I'm in that house. But even though my burn boot camp experience wasn't the best, I'm glad I got into workout this morning because I feel like whenever I'm traveling, I just, it all just goes down the drain and I just don't feel my best. I was so dehydrated yesterday. Like, it feels good. Started my day with that and now I shall return to Neil's. Well, I have just been informed Neil does not own any bath towels. Actually, <laughs> that's a lot. He owns one. So I'm currently in Target about to pick up these and clearly he really prepared for our arrival. <laughs> okay guys, a little update on the burn boot camp sitch. I was trying to count how many people were in the class because I'm just stunned. There are 100 spaces and it says 43 available. So that means there were over 50 humans in that class. I am just stunned. Also, I don't know how people drink coffee without going broke because I got Zach and me one each, like a cold brew. Do you want to tell them how much it was? What did you say? Ten bucks? You're the ones that bought it. <laughs> <laughs> Ten bucks. Also, Neil refuses to open his... Like, I tried to open them yesterday. He's like, people will watch us if we... I'm like, no one is sitting... You know what? I'm doing it. No one is sitting at their, like, window. Like, I can't wait to see what these people get up to today. <laughs> like, we need light. Timbo. I cannot believe how much hair this dog produces. It is 
insane. And actually, Zach, I do have some Claritin. We can both pop. I took it yesterday. You got your towel. <laughs> so what was the sitch this morning? Like, you went to go take a shower? And well, no, I just, we were sitting here and I asked, I was like, do you have towels? No. At least Neil knows how to set the ambiance. And he is very obsessed with soccer. His two main obsessions in life are soccer and fish. All right, after much debate about what we are going to do today, because there is nothing to do when it's 30 degrees, I believe we're gonna go to Corito, which is one of probably actually we'll say one of my favorite Cincinnati spots and then the aquarium which honestly like I know there are like things you can do in the winter bowling and all of that but everything I want to do is outside and it's just way too cold for that so that's the game plan for today but meanwhile Zach and Neil we need a little juice aka what was your first impression of each other first time you met what were you truly thinking about the other person we'll start with you Neil I, I don't remember. Come on, you don't remember that fate, that, that wonderful moment? Obviously, we were, I was home because of the hurricane. I couldn't get back where I was living, so obviously met when we were all staying together, so I don't know. It was kind of like, you better like, it wasn't just like, well, like you, you met for like five minutes and then you like <laughs> don't really, you know what I mean? It's like we were literally technically... You went from zero to a hundred. Yeah. And that's the thing. So Zach actually came home to New York way sooner than I feel like we would have done because we had only been dating for like a couple months. But I found out that Neil was coming back to New York because there was a hurricane in North Carolina with a lot of flooding. And I'm like, this might be the only chance Zach and Neil can meet within the next couple of months. So I'm like, Zach, you want to come home to meet my parents, my whole family? And you accepted. Yeah, I, I mean, we hardly even. Yeah, we hardly even knew each other, so that was it was a little odd. It was definitely premature. But Clancy was like, "Despo for me to like come home," so I did it. I like wanted to prove <laughs> that like a boy liked me. Oh my gosh! No, it, like as we were doing it, I'm like, we should not be doing this. Not that we shouldn't, because like I obviously really liked you, but I don't know. Well, was, yeah, I mean, if soon. you like, if your family just like lived in Cincinnati and we were popping over, like that would be appropriate. Yes. Like the fact that I was like flying to New York City essentially and. Staying at your parents for the weekend was a little weird, but... Do you regret it? Nope, look at us now. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't... <laughs> About to see the world in action. What we can be like with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. Good morning, guys. I am currently reverting back to my old lifestyle because I have oatmeal and green tea, which you guys know I've been taking a break from the green tea in the mornings. I've been doing coffee, I've been like a coffee addict, and then I've been doing banana smoothies. But this is, this is okay. It's definitely not my chocolate oatmeal, which I just stopped eating because it was feeling a little heavy. So I've been doing this since I've been in Ohio. It's like, it's fine. It's light and it just kind of like, gets me through the morning. But all of next week, we are going to be staying with Zach's parents. And I have a whole checklist of things I want to do next week. Like one, get my wedding band, which we figured since we're here, we might as well get it for my wedding band. I pretty much just want this. Well, you'll see, you'll see, we'll see. I hope I get it. Second, it'd be really nice if we can get Zach's niece, Aria, her dress that she's gonna be wearing to our wedding. So that would be really nice. Three, I have to come back up to Cincinnati, hopefully do our taxes. Four, we'd love to get approved for a mortgage, question mark. We don't know what we're doing. And then I was going to do a wedding dress fitting, but I feel like it's too early. Like, I, I know some people have like 12 wedding dress fittings. That's just not going to be happening. I think I'll have two. One that's like two to three months out, and then another one I think you do it like two weeks out. So I'm not going to be doing that on this trip. But guys, like the amount of dog hair. What, what type of dog is Timmy? I, get, I don't know. Neil knows. Oh, it's like a blue healer, but it's also a mix. It's like nothing I've ever seen in my entire life. Like I grew up with dogs and I grew up with dogs that shed, boxers, but they're short hair dogs. There is hair in every crevice of this house. Like I'm sitting in a pile of hair. Like it's, it's unbelievable. Neil, did Timmy always shed this much? Yes. And you just deal with it and love it? Yeah, that's why I almost like a carpet. I know my mom <laughs> said that like obviously the hardwood floors, but then it, 
gets in the air and becomes like tumbleweeds eventually. Or at least like a carpet, it sticks to it, so then you can just vacuum. But either way, no, it's, it's always in my food and water and stuff. It's always in your food and water? I, I, I. It's, it's in my aquariums. No, if you look at the filters. There will be, yep, I see dog hair in this one. It's unbelievable. It's like not even like a way to live. Now I'm like inspecting my food before every single bite. I'm so frightened that there's going to be a hair floating. Even I wanted to do like a makeshift tripod. You could see paper towels. We've got the book. I mean, can you see like hair just everywhere? All right, we are en route to Zach's parents' house in Dayton. We just did a stupid thing. We came here to the outlet malls not knowing they weren't even open. And we were like, wow, there's like no one in the parking lot. This is awesome. So not good. But I asked you guys on Instagram to ask us some questions because I feel like we have some catching up to do. Don't you think? Is that how you feel? I do. Have you missed like having a camera in your face? It's been over a month. No. <laughs> I do enjoy vlogging sometimes and it can be fun, but you use the word, do I miss it? I just gotta be honest. Now I'm ready to be back. He's back at <laughs> it, guys. Come on, let's go. Okay, from Rob. How are you holding up during this long distance period? More for Zach since we see Clancy's side. How am I holding up? Yeah, how are you holding a, up, Zach? That's a unique. Because he knows that you're probably like not well. How are you holding up? Rob knows. Uh, I've been holding up fine. Uh, I've missed Clancy. I'll be honest, the month went by quicker just because like sometimes when you don't do anything, like time flies and I honestly have been doing nothing. I've just been working, laying low, trying to figure out my health problems, which I think I found a doctor that knows what's going on. Like, I guess like when you do other things, like you like create memories and all this stuff, I, I, I've been doing almost nothing. So I've just been hanging out, trying to rest up and hang with my mom and dad and my niece and nephew. So, I mean, it's been nice seeing them, but happy that Clancy's here now. Have you even missed me a little? I said I missed like, you. Got you like sprinkled that in like so slightly, <laughs> like, yeah, I missed her. No, I mean, it, it, we've been with our families though. It's like, like it's been, been nice. Like, yeah, it's like it's not like twist the word. Like you've been holding up fine. Like we've missed you. It's like, <laughs> no, like no one's like like it's like well gosh that's what like you've been holding up like that's such a weird fairy. Like you've been fine. Obviously we'd prefer to be together. So it's like nice. But, but we're both in like like it's and it, by the way we're like happy but we need to make moves. I think both of us yeah, are feeling we're very. Both, we're both very ready to hopefully get back down to St. Pete like ASAP. But like you've been hanging out with Carly, like you've been doing things like you've not been able to do in years. So like, I Exa feel like exactly, it's, it's like such a unique situation, and I'm fully taking advantage of it. But I am starting to be like, yeah, we're both, oh my gosh, we're both ready to switch what the situation. Switch is. things up a bit. Yeah. Also, hasn't it been so like cute, like us like texting and stuff? Well, yeah, like, I feel like we never. Te like, yeah. in the Last like five months, we might have like texted five times, like because we've like been at each other's side. So it's a different. It's being like, how's your day? And like, we say like funny things, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, we say funny me. things. Me, I say funny things sometimes. Is that is that? Yeah, you're such a jokester, you. But actually, you briefly mentioned it. I did get quite a few messages asking, how are you feeling? Like, what's going on? While you've been gone, I have filled them in on the fact that, like, just you're still not feeling well. Like, kind of just explain the situation and what's going on right now. Yeah, I mean, I went to see another doctor. He was okay. I went and I got some MRIs of my spine. That didn't show much. And then he referred me to another doctor. And this lady thinks she knows what's going on. So we'll see. Do you And do you want to say or do you not? I don't care. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's just like she feels like I've got my eighth rib when you count down is like stuck backwards is what she believes. And do not comment, please. Like, if I'm saying anything medically wrong, I just guessing what they're telling me. I don't, I'm not medic, I don't know any advanced terms here. I'm just gonna say, regurgitating what they're telling me. So, I, she thinks it's stuck, which your ribs are supposed to expand and move, hence the pain on my left hand side. And then my hips are slightly, my left hip is slightly rotated up, causing like some discomfort as well. So, she did some like almost like PT exercises on me. She wants me to like rest now for two weeks, come back and see her and come up with a game plan from there on. Basically trying to get them back into place because if you do like some physical therapy type work, then they're supposed to quote unquote fix itself, but I've been dealing with this for eight months, so there, there's no promising on anything's gonna quote unquote fix itself, so we'll just have to see. And what she did last week actually made the situation so much worse, but she said 
you're, this is gonna hurt even more. But Zach's just been in, you were in so much pain when I first saw you a couple days ago. Oh well, yeah, I mean, she's, yeah. I mean, my pain at this exact second is worse than what it was before I went to see her, but I'm hoping now things are moving or whatever, hopefully not going moving in the wrong direction. And that's why I haven't really shown Zach that much in this vlog yet. Like, I feel like it probably looks weird. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm seeing him. But I try to like respect Zach's, you know, it's just his feelings, okay? He has feelings too, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's be honest, I'm grumpier like these days, like I just am. <laughs> like, I don't know, there's no like getting around it. Like I just I I am grumpier a little bit, just like I've been fine. Like I've been working, I'm, like, I'm not like, grumpy towards my parents or whatever, but just like, I just get agitated because I feel like a knife is stabbing me in my side sometimes, which I think would be relatable if you felt that way too. Yeah, so. anyone would be. <laughs> and you actually yeah. text me at one point, you're like, it's probably good we're not together because I'm just not happy. It is what it is. When do you think you'll move back in together? I know this is the question everyone has been wanting to know. Like, what is going on? What is the situation? Like, we don't know. And honestly, like, not to put it on, like, your health situation, but, like, that is, we just want you to be healthy before we start doing things. Well, no, we that's love what for it you. is. That is what it's, like, pending on. I mean, that's why I'm here. That's why I left abruptly. I was in New York because the doctor said they could see me. We haven't decided if we want to rent or buy, so we're actually going to go get pre-approved to just see what it looks like and start to make some decisions, hopefully, within the next week or two. This woman that Zach saw in Dayton, is like the first person who actually thinks she knows what's going on. We don't know that, but no, I don't want him to leave her. Like, okay, we, like we can wait. Do we both really very much so want to move in together again and like get back to a normal life? Just like a normal routine, yes. But at the end of the day, like this is obviously more important. And at the end, and also at the end of the day, it's like not a bad thing. Like we're both with our families and whatnot. So we're just gonna see if this can quite possibly be the answer to all of our prayers but we also have to figure out if we want to buy or rent we definitely want to do st pete like you're you this is a crazy thing you actually turn more into a florida person than me i mean i think we both want to go to st pete but yeah like, i think i enjoy the beach more but you enjoy the warmth more so i think it's like a Wait, you know what's funny? We both had like a conversation yesterday where we're like, we're forgetting the vision. Like we were like, don't forget like that we loved it there. Yeah, no, cause it's like, it's like someone was like, or Clancy even, I'd sent her like a nice house in Cincinnati and it's like- So nice. Well, yeah, like I could live in this house for sure because it's way more house than you'd get in St. Pete for the same budget in a good school district, all these different things. So yeah, we're both kind of like, I'm not gonna lie, losing the vision a little bit. Where I'm just like, do I even want to go to Florida? I think I felt that way, maybe a little more than you, because I feel like you're sticking with the vision. Like you remind me. Yeah, why I mean, I I'm trying to. I'm <laughs> trying. But like, if we wait another month, it's like, ah, uh, screw it. Kristen asked, "Is Zach annoyed with how obsessed with pickleball you are?" No, I'm happy. I've been playing without her for over a year and a half. So I can't believe thing. it. Like, little did I know when <laughs> Zach would leave to go play pickleball, he was going to be in heaven. Like, I had no idea you were in heaven all those nights. Yeah, so I'm happy she's gotten into it and enjoying it. I mean, trust me, we, the fact that now we can just go play ourselves is going to be nice. Well, obviously, we have to wait for Zach to get better. I'm really excited for you to, like, get better and for us to, like, do activities again, like pickleball. Oh, yeah. That would be so fun. No, trust me. I'm very, very much ready for that. Ooh, okay. Are you guys going on a honeymoon? I feel like I haven't really talked about this on here because I didn't think it was going to happen. So Zach's aunt and uncle gave us the best gift we've probably we've ever received in our lives where they what was it like adam so they did a fundraising event one of their friends put up their timeshare essentially they do a timeshare with the hard rock resorts which you can go to any of them within this timeshare and my aunt and uncle bid and won on a seven day trip to any of them in which they gifted us oh, as a wedding gift to use for our honeymoon. So that was beyond nice of them to do that and very unexpected as so. well. Like, so nice. And they're like the nicest people ever, but like, oh my goodness. But I haven't mentioned any of this because there's a woman that we were supposed to contact and she hadn't really been answering. She's just been really busy. So in my head, like this just wasn't happening. Like I was just like, oh, like it's, it's just not gonna happen. Eventually, about a month ago, Zach actually was able to get in touch with this woman 
who was so nice, so responsive, like eventually. <laughs> it doesn't make sense, so responsive. I'm telling you she wasn't responsive. But no, she just was really busy. And we get to choose whichever hard rock resort we want. And we'll like give you more details later, but it's back on. Where they, like, I don't even think I ever told you guys this on here, but we're so freaking excited and so grateful. Like that is too kind, so. We're excited. Katie asked, how have you guys really been doing since traveling has stopped? And it's funny because I was speaking with one of my friends yesterday and she was like, by the way, like, how did you like the whole travel thing? Because obviously you guys know it stopped rather abruptly. I loved it. Like I look back on each and every month, each and every destination. And I'm like, that was so fun. Like Nashville, like I'm so glad we did it. I, I don't know. It, like I look back on it, like so happy we had that experience. No, I mean, while we've been like figuring out what we want to do, it has crossed my mind. If I got healthy, like we don't commit to anything, like would we want to just do that for another two or three months versus just going back to St. Pete. But no, I mean, I thought it was awesome. Like I thought we were very, very lucky with every destination, every place we stayed. I didn't even know you felt that way about continuing up. So this is news for me. Well, I, I mean, me. I've then thought to myself, I'd rather just go back to St. Pete. <laughs> no wonder <laughs> so, you never brought this up to me. <laughs> the last one I'll answer, well, will answer, has to do with our wedding because I posted a wedding update video like maybe last week talking about like some regrets, just like some random things. And hey, Teresa asked, do you guys wish you would have planned to get married at a courthouse and had a reception with friends slash fam? One thing I'll say, I've people have talked about that. Like, oh, like get married privately and then do a reception. The reception is basically the same price as a wedding. Like, if, cause the big price of a wedding is the food and alcohol. Like that's the huge price. So that would have been the same price, but I, I'm glad we're doing what we're doing. Like, especially like when I hear of people who are coming into town and knowing we'll be with them. Like, I am glad. Do I think Zach and me are probably just like naturally more very small wedding elopement type of people? Like, yeah, like we're just not into the whole wedding thing, but we're gonna love it. Like, just because we're not obsessing over the details doesn't mean we're not excited and we're not gonna love it. I can occasionally be the type of person that like doesn't love like the big grand event type things, but then like once it's like happening, I'm happy I'm there or whatever. Like, yeah. Even like going to some weddings, sometimes I'm like, oh, this is like a hassle. This is like a lot of work, like get dressed up, all these people. Like I think occasionally I can think, and it's not even negative. Like some, like, I think I like to be around my close group of friends and that's what I like to do. So like, it's a little bit overwhelming to think it's gonna be like my wedding and like everyone's gonna want my attention and whatever else we're like, I like No, to they're gonna want my attention, Zach. You're gonna be like the second in command. Yes, even that. <laughs> yes. It's a lot, <laughs> like whatever. Like, I'm kidding, Zach. <laughs> it's like a whatever. <laughs> but, yes. <laughs> it just seems like a lot, like a lot to handle. No. I'm sure once it's happening, like I'm gonna be thrilled, right? Like it's all yes. my best friends, all my family coming into town. And I think people like miss the point of what I'm trying to say. It's not that I'm not excited to marry Zach. It's not that I'm not excited for the wedding. I just get annoyed when I hear people like stressing. Like there's no reason to be stressed. Even I responded to someone's comment who was like, cause I said, oh, like, you don't like the whole planning thing. And like, you're really, I told them that you tried to get your friend to DJ and everything. I would've been dope. Zach, he's not a DJ. Ugh. He was a sick DJ. He was not a DJ. But, um, and someone was like, oh, sounds like he doesn't want to get married to you. No, he just doesn't care about planning. Like, what? How are you even correlating those two? No, it's a silly, like, direction to, like, try to take it. Honestly, like, if you would have left it up to me, we would have got married on a beach with, like, ten people. But that's just because uh, that's me. No, but here's the thing. Like, <laughs> I want to do that, too. But then the guest list started getting so much bigger than, we like, I wanted. Yeah. And I felt bad, like... That's like a big ask for many people, you know what I mean, like price wise. But now I'm realizing it's like just as much in Cincinnati, so I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's like hard. just because I would have done something one way, then doesn't mean that's the right way. Like I might have regretted doing it that way and yeah. then been like, oh, like I honestly wish I had more of my friends and family here. I'm not saying I'm right. Also, this is the spot where my mom and I were arriving in Dayton. This was a few days after I graduated college and I just moved to Ohio. It's at this very spot. We realized, oh my gosh, my apartment is just like four minutes away. Like we're here, we're finally in Dayton. And then we just see two cars smack into each other and get in a terrible accident. And I was like, is this a bad omen for what I'm about to experience? But it wasn't. Little did I know I was about to meet my future husband. That's how that went. Fusion. If you know, you know. This is probably actually my favorite spot 
in Cincinnati slash Dayton for food, like fast food. Just look at that. I'm waiting on mine because it was 20 minutes for brown rice, but Zach is ready to chomp. <laughs> Oh my God. Because I know everyone is dying to know what I get. I don't want to open this. It's going to get all over. But sweet potato, avocado, carrots, cucumber, chicken, and then brown rice and sweet soy sauce. Also, the irony, my wonderful camera that cost me hundreds of dollars is right here. And yet I'm using my iPhone. And honestly, the quality isn't even that bad. Like... It's pretty sharp if I do say so myself. <laughs> we have made it to Zach's parents house and we're actually about to go look at a couple of houses in their development which I am so obsessed with their entire community here in Dayton like it's one of those like housing development communities I don't know like we don't have that on Long Island. I was trying to convince Zach to possibly move to Dayton which I'm just like throwing like everything is coming out of left field with our moving situation but it just would be so nice to be close to at least one of our families and I don't know. He hasn't really gone for it yet, but maybe when we look at these houses, he might because they look so nice and they're not as expensive as Florida, obviously. But I want to show you guys this picture. So this is Zach's whole family, like his sister, his sister's husband, his parents, niece and nephew, and then obviously us. But this was when Zach and I were dating for less than a year. I'll never forget being so like, oh my gosh, I should not be in these family photos because like, what if we break up and then I ruined all of these? I mean, if Zach and I broke up, obviously they'd have to like remove this beautiful photo from the wall but they're just such a welcoming kind bunch that they put me in the photos and it's great that years later they don't have to remove it by the way guys this is the routine after zach eats a fusion <laughs> that's a bathroom by the way where he has been for quite some time he was hiding from you finally he's emerged did you think anything of it when we took these photos or did it not even cross your mind like we I were mean, dating for like six months at that we point we put you on the end for a reason <laughs> You can cut it all out. Nice and simple. Oh wait, actually, now that I have you, Zach. All right, thoughts on moving to Dayton? <laughs> oh yeah, we're not doing that. Well, is there even a small chance? No. Zach, why don't your family is all here? The gang's all here. We can move to Cincinnati then. Yeah, but like that's so far away. Like I don't know. Well, okay, fine. Ready? Let's go see this house, and then we'll see what you think. I really don't, I don't really like know what the house looks like on the inside, but we'll see. All right, we just walk outside and we see Zach's mom and Zach's nephew. It's weird because it's like about to be my nephew too, but anyway, Zach's nephew Leland. And like, this is why we need to move to Dayton, Zach. Like, how pure. Oh! oh. All right, this is the outside. More stunning than I could ever even imagine. It just smells so nice. A whole office up here. Like this would be a sick office. Like imagine this bathroom is as beautiful as can possibly be. Another office. Oh my gosh, our offices would be across from each other, Zach. I'd be like, hey, like you want to get lunch? And yeah, you'd be like, like, yeah. Little rooms, but we could make them God, you're so <laughs> oh, yeah. annoying. Wow, this isn't even. This isn't real. What the heck? So beautiful. I guess one thing that would be. I don't mind this. Like, Neil minds, like, if, like, your neighbors are super close, like that. Like, that's not super close to me, but obviously you could, like, peek in. And then you have this whole kitchen. Oh, my gosh, guys. This is insane. This would be our bedroom. Like, what the heck? And then, wow, you have the pond right there. <gasps> wow. It's like a Jack and Jill type thing. Well, you... it goes all the way through. What? Like oh, my goodness. Toilet there, you've got the tub, then a nice little shower. This closet is what dreams are made of, oh my goodness. And then you go all the way back in here. This is not even funny. All right, going into house number two, and by the way, what did you just say? I said there's two things I'd never, I told myself I'd never want to have happen. One, my wife not take my last name. Don't attack me in the comments, <laughs> ladies. And two, move back to Dayton, Ohio. And Clancy trying to convince me of both these things happening. And I at least did one, so now we just gotta make number two happen. Similar, and then it's just not set up, so that's why it just feels different, but oh my gosh, still so beautiful. And then the one thing I have to say, guys, these are actually out of our price range. This is, I think, $850,000. So it's, it's really expensive, but obviously, if this were anywhere else, like in St. Petersburg, or oh my gosh, Long Island, it'd be millions of dollars. Like this, is absolutely stunning. The only thing I don't love about this is the backyard situation is not 
it's not a good situation. And even if you did get all of this like fixed up, it's not private. Like I really like when backyards are private. Well, I guess actually you could like create like the shrubbery and all that, but I cannot even imagine living in a house this beautiful. Like, ah, one day, one day. Okay, I wasn't gonna show you guys any more houses because it's kind of like <laughs> getting a little crazy, but I'm currently standing in our dream house. This one's actually within our budget. So that's why obviously like the other ones might be a little grander, but they're not in our budget at all. We've got this and then it opens up to this whole area. Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine. And then what's in here? Oh, I feel like I've seen, yeah, just like a, oh wow, like a little, little office space behind the kitchen. You're close to the kitchen to access some midday snacks maybe. Go in here, one of the rooms. Oh my goodness. And I'm so in love with just like this porch. Oh my goodness. And we like that the backyard isn't too big because we don't want that big of a backyard. And when they're in bloom, all of the trees would be like great privacy. I am seriously. I'm not okay. It's the next day. I am just now sitting down to edit this vlog. Zach's workstation is over there because we cannot work side by side, he said. He just, he couldn't do it. Yeah, so that's what I said. Yep. When did I say it? You said it two minutes ago. <laughs> that's just a blatant lie. But. Do you lie often on camera? Yeah, I do lie often on camera. You like it? Yeah, I like it. But I figured I'm gonna let you end it, Zach. Take the reins, take the camera, because they haven't seen you in a while, so just, what are you doing? You're sniffing your lettuce. <laughs> Making sure it didn't go bad. Well, vlog, this is what I've been doing. I work here. This is my lunch stations. I'm making a bratwurst, or reheating a bratwurst from Ooh, last this night. this smells so freaking good. My mom made some bratwurst for the Super Bowl. She made those in the air fryer. Yeah, no, I mean, if you're wondering what I've been doing for 30 days straight. It's uh, hanging out here. Not a bad place to hang. His parents' place and is so beautiful. And working here. There's a door right there that goes to the basement. I occasionally work down there. Switch it up so much. <laughs> I've got so much going on. It's pretty busy. Well, it's funny because Zach obviously hasn't been able to like work out or anything because of his ribs. And yesterday we were kicking the ball with Leland and for the first time ever, I like you were like out of breath. I was like, are you good? Well, first off, I was actually running. Clancy was, was sitting running, around doing nothing. I was running, Zach. Leland and I were on the same team. Yeah, it was two against one. Yeah, I mean, I've been as stagnant of a person as possible. And it's well, that's good. Fun. And you should not have run as much as you did yesterday. Well, this is what I've been up to, vlog. See you I'll next time. I'll see you in time. another 30 days. No, I'm starting a whole new vlog. Maybe, I don't know, today's just gonna be like a huge editing day. So maybe I'll start it today, maybe I'll start it tomorrow, but a week in Dayton. And I'll see you next time.